What is up, you guys? We are back for another one. Been waiting for this box to come for a minute. Not really waiting on the box itself, but waiting to order this box as you guys already know the title. I don't know like why. Act like it's a secret. We got our BB2 intake. inlet that everybody gawked over. I never got to get my hands on one because they were always freaking sold out. So um, when they said they were coming out with this, I was like, well, like I really love the, the, the racing line box, but like the silicone and the inlet, like there's nothing wrong with it really, but like I really wanted some color in the bay and it only comes in black silicone. So um, if they would have white, I probably would have stuck with it. I don't know, but either way, I'm going to power coat these bronze to match the downpipe and my wheels and hopefully some other uh, engine bay goodies in the future. But, uh, but, you know, why not keep the DVV2 vibe going? I'll probably get their charge pipes and their, uh, well, just the intercooler pipe kit in general. This filter is way bigger than what it looks in the pictures, so I need to open this first. Holy crap. Wow, this thing is huge. It's a vibrant filter, so you know it's good stuff. I like the way that looks. That looks really nice. We'll get some close-ups here in a moment. But uh, that's huge. Like, that's that's absolutely massive. I did not think it was going to be that big. Wow. So there's that. we got our... The only two clamps that we need, and the only silicone. And I like it, it's just a real nice little BBB2 logo on there. That's a nice piece. So let's see what side do we want first. Ooh, we'll save that piece for last. Look at this piece. God dang! Alright. This is a solid piece. So they like copied the uh, the OEM style so you don't need an adapter like the racing line one and you had to like put it in silicone and use a clamp. And this piece right here was like the most annoying part about the uh, racing line intake. Wow. I'll show you guys here like the way that this flows in. I forget exactly what they call it. Like this flange coming in here is like super nice smooth for the airflow and it's made like OEM where it has the notch so you just put one screw in the bottom and kind of set it on there get the top one in screw them in and boom it's done on your turbo so that is nice right on all right let's go to the next piece here there we go look at that that is huge Holy guacamole! This is gonna look really, really nice in bronze. I have to take this little. There's this fitting in here for your uh, what you call it, your manifold vacuum line. Wow, that's a nice piece in there. We'll have to get a close up on that as well. Nice little fitting. Dang. Well, that's gonna come back out anyway. But that is huge. So like. I plan on like somehow retrofitting my racing line box to kind of work with this just to keep the front of the engine bay looking nice. 
and the, the filter itself will probably hide in the box, and the rest of this will be exposed. It's actually kind of sits like this. The rest of this will be exposed, and that and that rub mice boron. So the, the way I have it vision, it seems pretty freaking sick. I might have to like shorten the length of this slightly to like bring it the whole filter assembly up more a little bit. But uh, we'll see. Well, this is like nice and bead rolled. I'd hate to to cut it, but really for like an intake, you don't really need that. I mean, it's nice to have, but like your intake isn't just gonna fall off. Like I see people like super tighten their intake stuff and I'm like, what are you doing? Like it's not, it's not that serious. So, oh, that fits right in there. Boom. That is big. This thing's gonna sound nasty. Wow. And like I said, for track days, pop that filter off and you got this velocity stack. Like, Alright, we will let's just do some close-ups, I guess. Check this bad boy out. It's huge, vibrant filter. You can almost see through it. This is definitely like a race style filter. Oh yeah, like I guess I could probably fit like two fists in there easily. Like that's absolutely massive. Well, wow, it's got like that point in there. It's like a cone. I wonder how that helps. Like when air comes in, it helps like force it to go in one direction since it's like coming to this. Interesting. I don't know anything. I'm just throwing out guesses. That's a really nice filter. And as nice as it's vibrant, you can just go online and order whatever. I wonder if they have a white one. Oh, anyway, the filter's probably going to be hidden. So, all right. Take a look at that. Got your little fitting here. And I said for your manifold, manifold vacuum, these aluminum welds. That's nice. That is a nice unit. Take a look inside here. Not a whole lot to see. Damn, that stack though. That is a stack. That's like, I mean, I have big hands, but I mean, that's almost a fist in there. Almost. I, mean, I can definitely get my hand down in there. That is huge. Okay, that's like, that's probably my favorite part. I love this velocity stack. And I don't know what they call, is this like a velocity stack too? I don't know how you guys are gonna see this on camera, but the way that this is formed, where this piece is welded to this piece, it's like the way that the lip is. I'm just gonna get my hand in there. It's like how smooth this is, how it curves so nicely it's a very very sick i really really like that i don't think you can get that on camera it just doesn't show the depth at least from my screen maybe you guys can see it better once i edit this that's nice and i said this is just like oem another i guess cnc piece because i know this and this are like 3D scanned and stuff and like custom, like real nice. You had like a whole batch of these made. That way the OEM connector pops right in. I'm gonna ask him if he can make me a delete maybe. That way I don't even, don't even have to run that back up to the intake from the diverter valve. That's nice. It's gonna be even nicer to see this whole thing in bronze. So it comes off the car. It's gonna sit like this in the car almost. More like this. I don't think the weight of it. And then this will come around like this in the car. But to get it to fit in the intake box, I'd either have to trim the box a literal ton, or I literally just might cut it right there at that weld to bring it up that much closer. We're gonna have to see once it's coated, see um, how we're gonna deal with that. But um, should get off work early tomorrow and I'll just go by their shop. Drop this off, hopefully pick it up in a week or so. Maybe not even that, because they don't even have to wait for materials this time. So, Super nice, really nice kit. I'll be sure to 
make an install video on this for you guys and then we will compare we'll put the gopro in the front of the car and we'll compare how the raceline intake with their cotton filter and their inlet inlet and hose sounds like versus a dbv2 unit i really don't know if they're gonna be that big with this huge mouth on it i think this is way bigger than this is like two of my filter um, outer diameters. So if you guys go and look at Adam LZ, we just had a video with Hank Iroz and Adam LZ was like touring his shop and stuff. And he mentions about, because Adam asks if those huge like five inch intakes make a difference. And he said something about the thermal velocity, something Spanish, and then some like engineering lingo. Basically, he said the bigger the better because of the length of the intake, like how far that the air has to move. That, um, like just going from I think a three and a half to a four was like massive, and then going to whatever size I think they use now is like a four and a half or five is like like a hundred horsepower with no change in boost or something like that. Something crazy, something ridiculous. Um, so yeah, so I assume having a bigger you know, opening at the end, even though it has to travel that far and it does dip down, it should help with a little bit. If, when you're chasing hundredths of a second like I am, it should make a difference. I just got new tires put on the day. One of these weekends coming up, I got so much stuff. I got like a, a, my parents' minis down here now and uh, I got a whole bunch of parts sitting, waiting to do on that thing. But I need to get up. I need to take a little bit of camber out of the car and install my perk line, uh, tie rod ends, and uh, kind of realign the car, set it up a little bit better for drag. Well, I'm not going to be able to do that before we go to the drag strip next weekend. So keep an eye out for that. We go to the dyno. Um, you guys will see this Friday. So tomorrow for you, we go to the dyno, autocross, big meet. Go back and check out that video if you haven't yet. I'll make sure that's like the end video. Racing lines coming down. They're tuning the car. We're getting a bunch of data on the street, on the dyno, autocross. And we're having a meet afterwards. Got a, a guy's flying all the way from the United Kingdom. Like I'm super stoked, but I kind of wish this intake would be on for that, but might as well keep it all racing line while the racing line guys here, you know, it makes sense. But, um, you know, see how their tune works with all their hardware. I probably would have just left it on anyway, even if this was ready. Now I'm just rambling. I'm tired. Was, this video was supposed to be out yesterday. And my parts didn't get delivered because I wasn't here to sign for it. This whole fiasco with FedEx. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Be looking out. Should have at least two more videos with this. Uh, comparison sounds and install and we got a whole bunch of stuff coming up with the racing line at least three videos out of that drag strip coming up who knows what else thanks for watching i'll catch you on the football